Hello, everybody. I was recently asked uh, how to uh, share a USB printer using this router, the TP-Link uh, sorry, TP-Link TL dash WDR4300, the wireless N750 dual band router. Uh, I think it's an excellent, excellent router. I've been using it for uh, almost a year now and really, really torturing it with uh, streaming and a Roku, two Rokus actually, and you know, working just perfect. I really like the way this, this product works. But regardless, uh, I'm using uh, the firmware from DDWRT and fl I flash that into this router, which it's totally compatible with 100%. Uh, and what I'm going to show you is how to uh, plug a USB printer, like a laser printer, which is what I have, into the back of the router and share that out to anyone on your network. Okay, this example is for Windows, uh, so for Win 7, uh, Windows 7, but I will put on the description, uh, you know, uh, other OSs and how to do it on those OSs because it's, it's cross-platform capable. So, you know, though I'm showing you Windows 7, it can be done on XP, it can be done on Mac, it can be done on Linux, you name it. So, let's go and get at it. First of all, um, I'm an Internet Explorer, so let's go to the address bar and put the address in. So, for the router, which is 192.168.1.1. Um, in my case, it's 3.1, but in most default cases, it's 1.1. Uh, and it's going to ask you for your credentials, so just put them in. Okay, and you end up at the setup page, which is a, you know the default page that you land on usually. Then you're going to go to the services tab, and then you're going to click on USB. And uh, if this stuff is disabled, right, enable it, and then enable your USB printer support. Apply the setting, and then save. Now, if you want to do storage, uh, if you want to plug a USB hard drive or USB key in there, then this one has to be uh, turned on. But this, that's outside of the scope of this uh, uh, video. If anybody wants to see that, if I get enough requests, I'll make a video on that too. Um, so, there we are. Core USB support, USB printer support enabled. And uh, then I'm just going to save that setting. And we're done. Now, next thing I'm going to do is uh, install this... Uh, Sorry, plug the USB printer into one of the two ports on the back of the router. I'll see if I can show you a picture of that. I probably can. Let's see the back. Okay, there we are. Beautiful. And you'll see there's two USB ports, one here and one here. And it also has uh, an LED showing you the, uh, the, the uh, operation on those USB ports. So it's pretty good and pretty cool that way. Uh, this works great. I've used it for both the printer and for the uh, USB storage. And, you know, after looking at the DDWRT webpage on how to do this, it's totally confusing what they tell you to do. So just follow my steps and we'll, you'll get along just fine. So next, we're going to open up, I'm going to open up the steps here in my little uh, word processor. Um, and I'll just leave them there for you to follow along. Or, and I'm also going to put those into the description as well. And next, we're going to follow these, these uh, directions exactly. So go to the Windows button. And if you have devices and printers, go there. If you don't have this button for some reason, go to Control Panel. And then uh, Hardware and Sound and, and View Devices and Printers. Either way, you'll end up in the same place. Um, okay, so here's your printer page. Next, you want to add a printer. So we're going to do that. And it says add a local printer. Let's see if I can get this to fit right. I can't resize that window. Hold on a sec. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. So, uh, you, what type of printer do you want to install? Well, it's a network printer. So, we're going to do that. Nice thing about this printer is once it's plugged into your router, it's a wireless router, it becomes a wire, wireless network printer. Beautiful, beautiful feature. All in a little box that costs 58 bucks. Okay, here, just hit stop on this. Um, you know, you can search and see if you can find it, but just stop. Uh, I don't want to use that function, so here we're going to go to printer that, that um, I want isn't, in, isn't listed. So the printer I want isn't listed, so click on that. And then the third choice here 
is add a printer using a TCP, ad, uh, TCP IP address or host name. So click next on that. Uh, then you have auto detect. Um, we'll leave it, leave that alone. Just leave that setting there. Next, you want it's, it's asking for a host name or IP address. Well, the host name would be the same uh, IP address as your router, and the default is 1.1. Again, in my case, it's 3.1. So uh, this and uh, make sure that query the printer and, and automatically select a drive to you driver to use is unchecked. It, it probably won't work anyways, and this is much quicker if you just do it manually, as I show here in the uh, um, notes. So go next. Here we are. See. So while that's happening, I'm going to scroll this down a little bit. Okay. Like I said, follow it step by step and you should be just fine. Make sure you plug the USB printer in on the back of the router too. Don't forget to do that. After you enable the, the feature on the router, plug it back in. All right. So um, obviously Windows did not find it. It doesn't matter because we're going to manually do this anyway. So here you go to custom and then you go to settings. Here you verify that your port name and your printer IP address are correct. Uh, they should be the same. If they're not, what really matters is this, your printer IP uh, address. Because if, you don't, if that's not right, it'll never find it. If this is wrong here, that's just a label. It doesn't matter. Protocol should be raw, and the port number should be 9100. Now, if you install a second printer on the second um, USB port, then all you need to do is follow all these steps again, but the second time, just put a 1 there, okay? So I'm just going to back that up, and I think I put that in the, uh, yeah, right here in, in the uh, notes. So just make sure that it's set up like this, the IP address of your router, uh, raw 9100 and all the rest is unchecked okay so there's nothing here here this is unchecked and click OK and next all right now it's going to be it's going to give you a list of printers here um, find your printers with my case it's a Samsung love Samsung products uh, ML 2510 series now, if you can't find your printer in this list, then click on Windows Updates, and that will uh, refresh the list and, and load all the drivers that are available for Microsoft automatically back into this, these lists, and then try again, okay? And if that doesn't work for you, uh, go to your manufacturer's uh, website, find the drivers for Windows 7, and uh, put them on, uh, uh, you know, download them to your computer, and then just click on Have Disk and point to the directory that you put them in, because, you know, that's how you put those drivers in. Other than that, I would if if you don't have a that option, um, your manufacturer may have a uh, a printer setup uh, program that will do it for you. But regardless, uh, with me, it's the Samsung and the ML twenty five ten. So next, now mine's giving me an option because I've already had this printer installed, and uh, it's saying detected that the driver is already installed for this printer. Great. Uh, you can either choose to use the current driver, recommend it, or replace the current driver. Well, my current driver is working perfectly fine right now, so I don't want to replace it. Uh, if your driver is not working correctly, then click on replace. If your driver is not in here, you probably won't even get this window, okay? So click next. Printer name. Well, you name it whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to go with the default here, so next. Okay, and that's it. You successfully added the Samsung ML25. Uh, 10 series onto your computer. Now before you hit finish, print a test page and make sure it's printing okay. Then either, uh, if it is, then hit finish. If it isn't, hit uh, cancel and see, figure out what's going on with your printer. So hit print test page here. I'm going to do that. And hopefully, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it or not. There it goes. And then just check your printout. Make sure it's nice and and uh, it says Windows on it, and you know the default printer test page, and you should be all set. Okay, that's it for my video. Um, I'm gonna hit finish here, and you can see that it's now right there. 
and um, over here on the instructions I will scroll this down a little bit more there we go click finish and you're done so uh, I'm going to take this whole page and uh, put it on the description so you can follow it step by step if you wish to do it that way uh, and uh, of course you can follow my video right along with this that's it for my video thank you very much for watching uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way do me a favor click on the like button right down here and uh, you know, if you wish to subscribe to my channel, just click on this link up here and that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, okay, again, thank you very much for your time and watching.